I'm Josh Ramey. Caleb. This is Krista. Sarah. This is Katie. And it's time for the grunt. That was, that was cold, bro. Hang on. How do I do it? Well, let's see what you say. I can't do this. I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, guys. I'm not no Josh. I can't smile and talk. I cannot. I can do that. I can do that. So here's a little preview. I messed up. Oh my gosh, I did good that time. Why do you keep doing this to me? One more time. <laughs> this is so stupid. Today is Thursday, September 6th. I'm Chris, and these are your morning announcements. The FFA is hosting a tailgate Friday at 6 at the picnic shelter behind the football field. There will be free food and drinks and games. Students going on the Australia trip need to pick up information from Nancy in the office. And here's Mr. Martin talking about the upcoming school play. All right, we are being joined in studio today with Mr. John Barton, the theater director here at LCHS, to talk about our upcoming community play. A Little Theater's production of Hamlet by Jean Batlow. Uh, she's a West Virginia native from McDowell County. Uh, the play's set in Kimball, West Virginia, her hometown. It's about a small town group of people that hire a director from New York to come down and try to direct Hamlet with no actors, no budget, placed in the small diner and just try to make it work. You know, I, I, I think I can kind of relate to that. <laughs> Looking around this room at the, the whole no budget yeah. thing really hits home with me, I think. <laughs> it has a lot to say about washing your pride, about just making stuff work and making it happen. But I think it works really well for our audience and our community. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I can definitely relate to that because we have begged, barred, and stolen everything. Oh, that's not your microphone. No, or neither is this one. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, so uh, when are auditions for this? Auditions will be next Wednesday and Thursday, the 12th and 13th. And then performances will be opening night is November 8th. And we'll do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, are, dish, are auditions open to everyone, yes. or is it just like junior, seniors? No, auditions will be school-wide and community members as well. Uh, students will, of course, be given you know preference, but all kinds. We've got roles for six females, two males, plus crew and tech to run it as well. Yeah, the crew and tech. I mean, if you guys get into that kind of stuff, definitely see this man about that kind of stuff. Yes, it please. It is really cool because... Uh, I've been up in the sound booth, and it is, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's a nice theater. It it's is, a nice theater. It is. It is. I, I was really, like, when I first came into this a couple years ago, I came to do a presentation, I was like, what, they have this in uh -huh. this place? It, it was pretty amazing. So, anyway, if you guys have the theater bug, you want to try out, freshmen, I encourage you guys. I know some of you guys that are really, like, outgoing and stuff, I think you would, would do really well with this. So, come on out, audition, and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the play. Signs go up this week this week. All right, that's us signing off. Thanks. In sports news today, we have a freshman football game at home versus Logan, and it's at 6. We also have a volleyball game at home versus Logan, and it's also at 6. And that is your sports for today. Hi, everyone. I am uh, making potato salad today. Um, I'm going to show him how to cut a potato properly. So anyway, this is already cooked. And these are yellow Yukon potatoes. So the skins are real thin on these. So you really can just go ahead and heat these skins. Just make sure the potatoes are really clean. You cut it in two. And this is kind of a dice look. You take your knife and you cut it in two here. And then you go through and you cut. These are still hot, so that's why they're mushing up. But um, once you get um, them all chopped up, if you don't like the skins, you can take them off. But I eat the skins because they're very good in high fiber, and I leave them in my potato salad. So would you like to try to cut a potato? Yes, I'll try and cut it. All righty, here we go. So you slice it in half again. Stay that way with it. Never come back towards the knife. So go forward? Yeah, always forward. Alright. And you cut it. Uh -huh. and never go towards you. And you put it into the potato salad. Mm -hmm. Now, you keep doing it and you have it. Keep going. Now, these are good Yukon potatoes and you don't always get these uh, year round. But right now, they're really plentiful and that's why potato salad is extremely good. Uh, these Yukon potatoes were at Save-A-Lots this week for $1.98. And so I went ahead and bought some, and the 
kids all like potato salad, so that's why we're going to have to make it. He's got this down pat now, doesn't he? Isn't this great? Yeah, keep going, Cameron. We'll have the potatoes done here in a couple minutes. All righty. Thanks, Miss Fraley. Well, you're welcome. You come back in the kitchen anytime. That's nice cooking with Miss Fraley. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. You, your mother. <laughs> and don't forget, guys, you can look us up on YouTube or tweet at us at LCHS Pride. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't interrupt. All right, here we go. One, two, three.